what you guys want to do is you guys want to click the link in the description it'll bring to this page from here you guys can go ahead and put your payment information in once you guys do that it should redirect you to a download link where you guys can download the template so what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up the template you guys are going to need WinRAR I have a link in the description and now you guys can get WinRAR it's pretty simple so I want to note that you guys do need Cinema 4D R18 or higher for this tutorial so if you guys don't have Cinema 4D R18 or higher, don't get this template as it will not work properly. Alright, so what you guys want to do from here is go ahead and open up the banner template. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to first of all install a font, double click on the font and go ahead and click install and it'll install. Alright, so once you guys have the font installed, what you guys can do is go ahead and open the banner template in Cinema 4D. Again, you guys need R18 or higher, I'm using R19. Now, once Cinema 4D opens, go ahead and just simply uh, wait for this to go away. Actually, just hit Content Browser right here, and double click on Presets. Now, once you guys are in here, go ahead and find the lib4d file. It should be the first file. Make sure it says lib4d, and go ahead and just drag this into your Content Browser. Now, once you have this, you guys can go ahead and replace the materials in here so basically just drag the green one with the green one and make sure that arrow is pointing down this will basically just debug the materials and make sure that they are working properly go ahead and do that with all of them and once you have done that you should not have any errors with the materials go ahead and close this out and open up cinema 4d like so go back to objects and now we can edit the text so now what you guys want to do is go to the bottom one and open this one up and I believe this should be the front layer if I remember correctly go ahead and type in your name so for example I'm just gonna type in name like that and that is not that is actually the back layer so I'm actually gonna go back to the first layer which is, should be the the front layer also by the way make sure you guys are using all caps as this font uses different sizes for letters like for example if I do like lowercase a and e like that you guys are gonna see that's just not the same size so for this font I recommend using all caps but it's totally up to you if you guys don't want to so go ahead and just basically change the name and then minimize this and then go into the next one and you're gonna have to just uh, a total of four times so just keep doing this for every layer go to the text and once more me I forgot to put that one back okay all right so basically once you change the text you guys should all be set to go so now what you guys can do is go ahead and render out go ahead and click this button right here go ahead and click save and then just save it as whatever so for example I'm just gonna name it name uh, or banner template 9 tutorial but you guys can name it whatever you want like so close this out and then go ahead and click this button and it'll start to render hi guys so that took about 40 minutes to render so once it is done rendering go ahead and open up photoshop once photoshop is opened you guys can go ahead and open up the photoshop document so go ahead and just go back to this folder here double click the photoshop document and it will open up in photoshop Alright, so once the banner template has opened in Photoshop, you guys want to go ahead and open up the render. So go ahead and go to File and go to Open. And just go ahead and find the render that you just saved. So I'm just going to go to my graphics renders and find it. I named it Banner Template 9, I believe. Right here, is it? Yeah, right here. So go ahead and just drag this right into the template and once it is in the template go ahead and size it down to whatever size you want so i'm gonna go and match the size in the template so kind of like that maybe a little bit smaller hold down shift while you do this by the way and hit ctrl t to transform it and size it down i'm gonna go with that like that kind of all right so once you have your text, go ahead and go to and hit Control J, and go to Filter and go to Other and go to High Pass. Set the pixels to 1.5. Go ahead and 
and click OK and go ahead and change this to overlay. So once this is at overlay, you guys can see that it just sharpened it up a little bit. So if you guys want to, you guys can lower the opacity and make it less sharper. I'm going to go with 50%. Hold shift, click this layer or your render layer. Right click and merge this layer. So basically it will put this all into one layer right here. And then go ahead and go to filter and actually hit control J or command J if you're on Mac to duplicate it once more. Go ahead and go to filter and go to sharpen, which is right here. Go to sharpen. And as you guys can see, it sharpened it. So you guys can go ahead and lower the opacity if you want it to be less sharp, which I will. I'll go to like 60%. Hold shift once more, click the other layer right click and merge the layers so once you have this go ahead and hit control J once more to duplicate it go to the bottom one and go to filter go to blur and go to motion blur go ahead and set the angle to 18 and set the distance to 201 pixels go ahead and click OK this will basically add a blur at a similar angle to the cut so it kind of makes it look like it's cut like the motion of it getting cut so go ahead hold shift once more select the top one right click merge layers and then you have this all in one layer again all right so once you have made the blur go ahead and just double click on this and name this blur and i'm gonna name the top one the render all right perfect so now what you guys want to do is hold all on your keyboard and just drag the this effects right here to the render. This will give it a nice glow on the outline. So it'll make it pop out a little bit more and just something extra to make it look better. So once you have this, you guys can go ahead and delete this text one, the one that says delete. Go ahead and delete that one. And then next what you guys want to do is you guys want to add another layer. Now I'm actually gonna hide these two layers right here so you can so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Move this around a little bit, uh, like so. Like position this like however you guys want to. I'm using the arrow keys to move this around, so I'm gonna position it somewhere about there maybe. Alright, so once you guys are here, go ahead and make a new layer. Actually, I already did that. Oops. And basically what you guys want to do is you guys want to grab a white brush and you guys want to uh, make it the same size as the text. So about 112 should work and make the hardness 0%. Go ahead and just brush right over the text like so. Take your time on this but I'm going to rush this just so the tutorial isn't too long. Something like that. and. I believe, let's see, I believe I set it to 30% soft light, so soft light and 30%, like so, and yeah. As you can see, that definitely helped the, uh, the colors out a lot, just made it a little bit better. Alright, so now once you have that done, you guys can go ahead and delete this one. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is make a new layer above the white CC. I'm also going to name this uh, text CC white, so we know it's the white one. And then make a new layer above the text CC. Hold, or er, go ahead and get your color panel right here. Actually, you guys can just go ahead and select your brush and hold down alt and you'll get this color picker option. And what you want to do is just kind of select a color, like this pink color here. And you guys just want to maybe make this like a little bit bigger to like 150 or so. And just start clicking around. And then, you know, change it. Every once in a while, just change it. Alright, so once you guys have this done, again, I did a pretty bad job. But what you guys want to do is lower the opacity to 30%. And it will give you like this kind of glowing, except this looks pretty bad. But you guys just want to do a better job than what I did. And you guys will get something much better looking than this. Maybe lower the opacity a little bit more. Yeah, so maybe like 20 to 30%. 
should work. All right, so now once you guys have this done, you guys can go ahead and delete that layer. All right, so basically you want to do the same thing, except for you're gonna make a new layer and you're gonna do it with the entire banner this time. So go ahead, make a new layer and go ahead and put it above the abstract shapes like so. Hold down Alt and just kind of do this with the entire banner, except you want to make your bush slightly bigger, so maybe like 200 pixels, something like this, and just do this with the entire banner, like so. Again, I'm gonna rush it. All right, so once you guys are done, you guys should have something kind of like this. Um, I'm actually gonna turn this layer off here. So basically what you guys want to do is get something kind of like this. This is the one I did in the actual template. But this is the one that I did just right now. So go ahead and lower this to 30%, like so. And you'll see that it kind of like makes the banner a little bit more colorful. So now what you guys want to do is just grab your eraser tool and erase around the text. Make sure the hardness is at 0% and the size is at around 119 pixels. Just erase around the text like so. Basically this will just make the text stand out more at the same time giving the background a little color. So like so. And then now you guys can delete this one. So that's what that kind of does. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is basically do the same thing, except turn this layer on and this layer off. And go ahead and delete this layer actually, and basically select this layer, make sure it's turned on, and basically just erase around the text again, once more, like so. Kind of like this. No? Boom. Like that. Now what you guys want to do is... Make sure you're on the CC layer, hold down shift and click the bottom layer. Hold down control or command J and we'll duplicate all the layers, right click, click merge layers. What this will do is it'll put all the layers into one layer. Now what you guys can do is hold down control or command and just uh, turn all these layers off. So now you should have just this one layer, right? So now what you guys want to do is you guys want to hit Control J to duplicate this layer. Go to Filter and go to Gaussian Blur. Go to Blur and go to Gaussian Blur. And put this at like 1 pixel. Anywhere from 1 to 2 pixels depending on how much you want the background blurred. But I'm going to go with 1 pixel. Go ahead to click the eraser tool and just erase around the text. And also, you guys, what you guys can do actually is erase around the abstract things, like like right here. Erase around those too, if you guys want to. Actually, I'm not going to. Yeah. Um. Actually, what I would recommend is erasing the part that's over the text, but like leave the rest blurred, if that makes sense. So, just go ahead and erase the text around the text, like so. And yeah. All right, so once you have that done, you guys can go ahead and delete these top two layers. All right, so you guys are pretty much done. Go ahead and click file, go to save as, save this as a PNG and save it to your pictures folder or wherever you guys want to save it as. Name it to whatever you guys want to. I'm honestly not even gonna save this, but once you guys have it named whatever you want, go ahead and click save. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you guys enjoyed this banner template tutorial, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.